Have you ever wondered how flowers can contribute to groundbreaking drug treatments? If not, then it's time to bloom your knowledge. A team of researchers at the University of Bath have recently made a fascinating discovery. They've tapped into the superpower of a pretty unassuming flower, the Oldenlandia, uh, a finis. But don't let its simple beauty fool you, it's much more than just a pleasant sight. It's in the enzyme of this flower where the real magic lies. The researchers have harnessed this enzyme for a novel and promising method of drug development. Picture this joining the loose ends of proteins and peptides to create stable cyclic structures. This not only enhances their heat and chemical stability, but it also simplifies their entry into cells. The implications of this discovery are immense. It opens up new avenues in drug development and could significantly impact the way we tackle diseases. This flower isn't just a beauty to behold, but it holds the potential to revolutionize the pharmaceutical industry. So, what exactly is this new method for drug development? Well, it's pretty fascinating. This approach harnesses an enzyme from the Oldenlandia affinis flower to join the loose ends of proteins and peptides. Imagine these proteins and peptides as strings. Our method takes the ends of these strings and ties them together to create a loop or a cyclic structure. Why do this, you may ask? Well, these cyclic structures are notably more stable. In the harsh environments of heat and intense chemical reactions, these cyclic proteins hold their own, maintaining their structure and function. But it doesn't stop there. The cyclic nature of these proteins and peptides also makes them more adept at entering cells. In the world of drug development, getting therapeutic agents into cells is half the battle. So, this method is not merely about creating stability, it's about enhancing cellular entry, making these proteins and peptides more effective as medicinal agents. It's like giving these proteins a superpower of their own, enhancing their stability and cellular entry. But how can we produce these cyclic proteins and peptides on a large scale, you might ask? Here's the fascinating part. The researchers turned to nature for the answer and used a bacterial system. This might seem elementary, but it's a stroke of genius. Bacteria are the workhorses of the biological world. They can replicate rapidly, they're easy to manipulate, and they're robust, which allows them to churn out these cyclic proteins and peptides like a well-oiled machine. This approach not only makes the process simpler, but also incredibly cost-effective. And here's the cherry on the cake, it's sustainable. Unlike many industrial processes, this method doesn't rely on harmful chemicals or energy intensive equipment. It's just bacteria doing what they do best, growing and producing. This isn't just about creating new drugs, it's also about doing it in a way that's simpler, cheaper and more sustainable. What could this mean for the future of our world, you might ask? Well, the potential applications of this groundbreaking technique are vast and varied. In the pharmaceutical industry, for instance, the stability of these cyclic proteins and peptides could lead to the development of more effective and easily administered drugs. But the reach of this innovation extends far beyond medicine. Imagine, if you will, the food industry harnessing this technique to create products with enhanced nutritional value or longer shelf life. Or consider the detergent industry where these stable structures could contribute to more efficient cleaning agents. The fields of biotechnology and bioenergy production also stand to benefit greatly. By making proteins and peptides easier to produce and more resilient, we could see advances in everything from biofuels to genetic research. The researchers behind this method have recognized its potential, filing a patent to protect their innovative approach. The power of flowers, it seems, is not to be underestimated. Who knew that from the petals of the Oldenlandia affinis, such a revolution could bloom? The power of flowers is truly remarkable to continuously be enlightened like and subscribe.